This is a Panasonic KX P2023 from the 1990s. And despite the fact that the last driver update was released in the year 2000 for Windows 98, it is incredibly easy to make this old machine work with Windows 10 in the current day. Only two cables are needed for this device. One power cable, which is already attached to the machine, and a simple parallel printer to USB adapter. These are readily available on eBay. Once the printer is plugged into the wall and turned on, I then plug the parallel cable into the USB. This is just a USB extension cable to my computer. I then go on to turn on the printer. That's a nice sign of life, indicating that the printer does in fact have power to it. You can actually see it has an, a little light to show that it's got power. Paper simply slots in between these two spacers. You can actually recenter these by lifting these small handles and sliding them left to right. The next stage is feeding the paper in. You can either do this manually by winding the roller and ensuring that the paper is feeding in by hand, which is what I like to do, or you can press this button, which feeds the paper in a little bit at a time. If you want to unload the paper, press that button. And it will fully unload the paper. As you can see, it's left a smear on the paper, despite not actually printing anything. This is because there is too little distance between the print head and the roller. And the print head is effectively smearing across the paper as it was started feeding through. This lever here adjusts that pressure. I can't remember which way it is. Oh, I'd assume that way towards the minus is a larger gap than towards the plus is probably a closer gap, but I'd have to experiment with that to test it. You don't need to worry about these small tracks on the side. This is if you have the continuous paper with the holes all down the side, which will fit into there and drive it through. There's actually a lever here which controls whether drive goes to them or not. We'll leave it on this mode as my paper is standard modern paper without the uh, little holes on the side. To add the printer, we need to go and press... To add the printer, press Windows R, type the word Control Printers, press OK. This will bring up the control panel page for printers on the computer. I then press add a printer. I then press the printer I want wasn't listed. You need to choose the bottom option, which is to add a local printer with manual settings. Then we choose use an existing port to which we then go all the way down to the bottom to the USB virtual printer port for USB. We press next and then you need to go through this list to find the make and model of your printer or at least one that's as close as possible as you can and hope that it works. For me, Panasonic uh, KXP 2023 is listed. I think the first time I did this I may have had to press Windows Update. I don't really remember. Um, but either way, next I'll press next. I use the driver that's already installed. You may have to replace the driver. 
the printer name I will leave as it is. It's pretty self-explanatory. Press next, and then it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I don't want to share this printer. You, know, you may want to experiment with that. I personally won't. And then, if you like, you print the test page. Well, that's a good sign. And here we go that is pretty good it's a little bit faded here and there but it's expected for a printer which is as old as this and has been in storage for a very long time as i alluded to earlier you'll probably also have to play around with uh, a lot of the settings on here so adjustment of the paper left to right the pressure of the print head and make sure it's in the right mode if the ink has dried up, what you do is you turn this little dial here and that actually winds the printer ribbon through to some fresh ribbon. As I turn this, the ribbon on the end, let me just go into the light, there we go, that actually moves along to fresh ribbon which has more, I guess, ink on it. And I, I guess when that's fully dry, you probably replace this part. It's incredibly easy to pop out and pop in. It's held in only by two clips. So now that we know the printer works, we can close down this panel. It's worth remembering the process behind getting it added, as I found after you unplug the printer or turn it off or turn the computer off it does tend to forget these settings and even though the printer will still be listed there it probably won't work it's all a bit sketchy i mean the last driver update for this printer listed on the uh, panasonic website was from the year 2008 so it's a bit unsurprising that there's uh, issues with it. Anyway, let's print something a little more fun. Say we want a uh, picture of this surprised looking gentleman here. Let's give it a, uh, let's give it a go. You can see name, it's the Panasonic. I don't need to mess around with any of these other settings. You may want to. You may find me your printer that you have to. And I know for a fact that this one works fine. And we'll just go straight to uh, OK.